In this lesson, I want to look at how we can customise a screen and control the display of fields within that screen. So we're going to be looking at how we can use a technique called inline customization to allow us to customise a screen very easily, how it can be used to add a field to a screen or modify the layout of an existing screen. And we'll think about things like the new line property, the width and the height. And we'll look at all of the information that allows us to understand what's being changed. So let's have a look at uh, what we're dealing with here. We're going to see that uh, I'm looking at the person summary screen with inside Sage CRM and I can change the layout of these screens very simply as the system administrator. Pages like this are built from a series of screen definitions within metadata and we're going to change the fields in these pages um, and if we look at here we can see that um, that there is just the top area of the screen. That's the one that I want to focus on changing in this particular uh, lesson. To do that, I need to go into the system administration screens, and once there, I need to select customization and then person. If I want to change a screen, I need to go onto the screens tab. And here we're presented with a list of all of the screens defined for the person entity. But how can I know which screen is the one that I want to change? Actually, Sage CRM makes it easy for us. I can turn on inline customization and then return to the person summary screen. And now I can see the hyperlinks to customize each of the screens. I can click this and a pop-up screen appears allowing me to um, monitor the name of the screen for future reference. You can see here it's called person box long uh, and I can also change the fields on the screen. I can move the fields into new locations. I can decide whether they should be on a new line or not. And I can change the relative spacing for the fields. And there are other properties such as scripting and custom content that I can set for the fields and the screen which are covered in other lessons. And as you make the changes you'll need to click the update, remove or add as you work with the fields. And clicking save will commit the changes to the database and then the new layout of the screen appears. We just need to return to the admin screens to turn off the inline screen customization. 